Hello everyone, welcome to Highway Police Simulator, the demo. This is a trade show demo uh, that was sent to me. A big thanks to Aerosoft and uh, Z Software for sending this one over. We're going to check it out for the first time today. It's right up our alley. Let's see what it's all about. Welcome, officer. You are tasked to take care of an accident. All right. Here's how to control your character. Oh, wonderful. All right, so I'm going to be playing on the uh, controller here today. Check it out. We got ourselves a nice uh, Afaja. Hey, how you doing? We have a partner. We can talk to Natalie. What a beautiful morning. I have to agree with you on this. Um, there is uh, a list of bugs that uh, we may encounter on this. We might have some problems with conversations with people at accident sites and uh, vehicle engine sound might cut out on us. Uh, totaling the vehicle at the accident site might potentially cause a soft lock. So there are things that can happen um, because this is just a demo. We're going to open up the trunk. We got a drone. What? Uh, locate drone or locate drone or start drone. Start the drone. Oh, yeah. Let's get the drone out. Oh, you need to unlock the drone and tech tree to use it. Okay. Okay. Well. Reach the location. We'll do that in a minute. Let's say hello to some people. How you doing? Okay, having a good one. I don't think we can talk to these citizens. It doesn't look like that is the case. Um, this game is coming out soon, though. It is coming out soon. How you doing? Having a beer? I think they're supposed to be having a beer, but it looks like they're having cola. 100%. What is this? Are you the ringleader, dude? What's in the... What you got in the back? Graffiti. Yeah, there's graffiti here. Okay. Are you the one that did the graffiti? I know we need to solve the accident. We're just seeing what's going on over here. All right, we'll carry on, okay? All right, Natalie. Let's get out of here. Let's drive this car. Um, hoping that it drives decently. Uh, brake, radial menu, steer, accelerate, handbrake, look around. Beautiful. What the heck? Okay. I was about to say, what is going on? Okay, we do not have a sound on this at all. So, uh, emergency... And we can go to the lights. Okay, so we have blue lights. One, two, and three. All right, one, two, or three. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So there's one that has red and blues, maybe. Um, so turn off all of them. Siren. Okay. Interesting how the radio menu works. There we go. Oh, we have a car sound on it, too. All right, let's go. Um, Car is pulling to the left on me a lot right now. That is indeed happening. Okay, getting used to the uh, the controls. I mean, it's 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 very strange. It's like it's got a dead zone on it, and then it just sails on you. You know? Whoa, dude. Okay, yeah, driving is interesting. Um, I'm sure we can get uh, an inside view, but it does say in the list of uh, of problems here that oh my god. <laughs> well, there is damage you can do to your police car. Now we know. I can't explain how it is turning, but maybe you can see it right there. It's like a huge dead zone and it really pulls to the left. So I'm uh, getting used to that on the way to this accident. We've become the accident. All right, here we go. Oh, hit the brakes. We got people here. Oh my God, what has happened? All right, let's shut the road off here. And uh, we're gonna go into our radial menu and turn our uh, siren off. Did we just hit all off? Or we just hit it again and it'll turn it off maybe? Let's see if that did it. Hey, that did it. Look at that. Let's see what the other light options are. We have uh, blue lights too. Let's see what that's like. Oh, yeah. It's got a different pattern on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, all right. Let's get out. So looking at the map, we have uh, the starting location there. And uh, this is the whole area. So oh, it's a pretty decent sized map. Honestly, not bad at all. So that's good to see. Um, let's hit some other buttons here. We got the radio. We've got request mission, abort mission, road reset. Uh, then we have other. So we have radar pull over. Okay, that's how you do that. So the radial menu is what we're going to be using, it looks like. Let's get out. Okay, Y is to change the uh, inside view, which is very zoomed in. Very zoomed in. Okay, to get out, we hit A again. There we go. It's got a nice little animation getting out. What happened? There was a car crash, and you as an officer need to investigate the scene. All right, we'll do that. Oh, check it out. We have a list. I like lists. It's like, hey, do this. I do like that. MVH3PT in uh, Kaminora. That's the state we're in. How you doing, y'all? Roderick Pearson. Good morning. You took long enough, officer. We need to get this figured out quickly. 
Okay. Please tell me what happened. Oh, that was so confusing. I was driving and the road felt weird. And the car felt weird. Bam! Something crashed into me. Uh, anything else you remember? Anything else? Hmm, let me think. Actually, I better not. No, I don't have anything else yet. Sorry. Yeah, right. About that. Show me your papers. Show me your license, vehicle registration, and proof, proof of insurance. All right. That doesn't look like the dude at all. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, 2024 nine, whatever that means. That's the, pl the tag, I guess. Um, but Kaminor automobile insurance identification card. We've got Roderick Pearson on 775 Palmer, um, on a 1957 Falcon Mercury. Okay. Uh, effective date on 2024 and it expires on 2025. So we're not worried about that policy number and that Byron Miller is the agent's name. Okay. So Pearson Roderick here. We're just kind of cross-referencing everything here. Uh, we've got class VCC expiration of 717, 2027. So that is fine. Uh, and then the registration down here is for the vehicle itself, the MV H three PT uh, on the Falcon. And it's got a VIN number on it. That's really detailed. I like that. And that's Roderick Pearson. So he does own the, the, the Mercury. Okay. About that. Hmm. What could that mean? Fatigue, driving under the influence. Hmm. 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 Driving under the influence. Uh oh. There's some hints that you have been driving under the influence of alcohol. Could that be the cause of the accident? No, officer. At least not me. I, I don't know. We have multiple hints that point in the direction of that. Uh, and what does he say? Yes, I am. Is that all for now? Oh, just admitted it. That's all. That's all. Okay. Well, he's probably going to go to jail nonetheless. That is a, uh, a Faja there, a fake charger. Look at that. Look at all the vehicles back here. We have AI. What? We do. And they're all in uh, police vehicles. <laughs> That's the, uh, that looks like the uh, Ford police interceptor utility. Okay. Let's talk to this one. Janet. Damn it, Janet. Good morning. Took you long enough, officer. We need to get this figured out quickly. What is with them always asking us that? You tell me what happened. Oh, let me tell you, that other driver was swerving wildly, totally reckless. I like the rainbow uh, eyeshadow. Show me your papers. Anything else you remember? Can you give me any more inf information? Sure. You should have seen the other drive. I'd bet 10 bucks they were drunk or high, or both. Hey, what'd you say about me? You heard me. Calm down, you two. We'll deal with this matter now. P -p -p Please prove that innocent. I believe you. Tell me your side. I want to hear what they have to say. Gladly. Contrary to what I'm hearing over there, I didn't consume any... Uh, as I see it, I'm being accused. It's fast. It's fast. Opponent is the one driving under the influence. Why else would they point their finger at me? It's a good argument. It's not a bad argument. You want to blame me now? That's preposterous. I'm the victim. Okay. Uh, About that. About what we were going on. Yeah. Fatigue fatigue was it fatigue there are some hints that you are tired exhausted even could that be the cause of this accident i'm wide awake i assure you i don't believe you that's all okay well we haven't secured the accident we've just talked to the two involved all right that's all for now that'll work for me i don't know what we need to do to secure the accident perhaps we need to pick things up what do we have here a wooden box it might be important or it might not. Oh, check. All right. This box could fit a lot of things. Yep. We have something over here. What's this? A wood box. Another wooden box. Oh, that has something in it. A cigarette and a lighter. Okay. I'm going to get traffic cones out. I think we have to put traffic cones down. I think that's what they want us to do. Put some traffic cones down, man. All right. Take traffic cone. Oh, we have to get a cone out each time, perhaps. Yeah, we do. One at a time, one at a time. Put one down here. There we go. All right, we secured the accident. That's what we had to do. We had to just put a cone out down there as well. So we have 
All our cones down. All right, Janet, I need to see those papers now. Let's see what uh, is going on with their stuff. Show me your papers. Janet Ledette. Hello, Janet Ledette. Okay. We've got uh, a Falcon Mercury as well. A 2016, because I guess uh, Mercury's still making the Falcon. Uh, effective date of 2024 and it expires in March of 2025. So no problem there. But Janet uh, does indeed have that. This looks nothing like Janet to me. It really doesn't. Uh, expiration date of 2026 on that. And the VIN number on that looks like that is a Falcon Mercury indeed. Uh, expiration date of 2025 on that as well. So that is all for now. Thank you for your time. All right. Let's talk to this guy about that crap from earlier. Uh, he's all upset about what else you want. Uh, accusations were raised, sir. They were raised. Do you want me? You want to tell me more about the DUI? Uh, only thing I'll tell you is that those accusations are okay. If you say so, confess already. I'm having trouble believing you. Sure you don't want to confess? You sure about that? You sure about that's not why? Uh, nothing else. Okay, that's all for now. He's just like <laughs> acting like I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, take photos of the involved vehicles. Okay, we'll do that. That we can do. We have a little little camera thing there. Nice. A picture there. Let's get a picture of this. We got that. Okay, we took pictures of those. Make a sketch of the accident at the PC. What? Is it in Access Police PC? Oh, here we go. Okay, we have to make a sketch of the accident. All right, so this is our MDT. We have Roderick Pearson and Janet, so we can see all the stuff here. License is valid, all that checks out. Okay, their vehicle. Um, here's the two cars. So th they are Falcons. Uh, they're not that Falcon that you thought they were before, but yeah. Valid expiration dates on there. All is good with that. Uh, sketch. Here we go. Place objects. Select a dot and declare what it resembles. Okay. So accident depiction. Define each unit involved in the accident. Uh, then the vehicle is divided into individual parts. Select the ones that are damaged. Okay. Uh, choose which of the photos you took belongs to which vehicle. Okay. This seems complicated. So vehicle, car, uh, this is another vehicle car, All right? I think I figured it out. I think we have to assign photos to these like this. It's considered a photo. So yeah, we assign that photo to that. All right. We have the sketch completed. That looks good to me. Uh, everybody is, uh, good to go on that. That should have done it. Uh, yep. Make a sketch. The accident is complete. Discuss your findings with Natalie. Hey, Natalie, what do you think of this? Could you help me please? Sure. What do you need? Uh, details of the accident, placement of the safety cones. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Details of the accident. Let's go over the details of the accident. Did you figure out what happened here? Uh, yes. I'm sure. Okay. What was the reason for the accident? Driving under the influence, baby. You better believe it. Okay. And who's at fault? Oh, definitely Roderick Pearson. Here's the culprit. I see. Did you get a confession of that? Uh, I really don't know because he kind of messed up. DUI. I got the confession. That fits the accident because you mentioned. All right. Since you know all that, can you enter the report at the PC? Don't forget to send it off once you're done investigating. Okay. We have to write a report now. So I'm thinking it's DUI. He smashed into the back end of her car uh, and he's drunk. That's that's what I think happened here. Now we have to do a police report. There we go. Use this page to formulate your report. To get as much information as possible, try to talk to everyone you meet at the site. At accidents, make sure to check the environment to find more hints and document the scene in an accident sketch. Once you know what happened, discuss your findings with Natalie. In traffic stops, thoroughly check the vehicle of the person you stopped and let them know of any violations. You can update your report with new findings as long as you don't send it off. Write a report. On the 7th of September, 2024, I recorded an accident with two people involved. After conducting investigations at the scene, I came to the conclusion that DUI was the reason for the accident. I found out that Roderick Pearson caused the accident. We got a confession that matches our findings. Send the report, baby. Mission complete. Rank up, baby. We were right on that. There you go. That is a quick demo 
of the game. Let's restart the demo so we can just drive a little bit. All right, let's get back in the car so we can explore. Maybe we can even go a little bit beyond with the uh, with the map itself. So let's do that. Drive around and talk about the game. So let me get used to driving. The car seems very light in the rear end. Um, and I think it's quite sensitive. Uh, seems to be the case with a lot of these kind of uh, assets. Oh, left area of responsibility. Okay, let's turn it on around. Um, what else can we do? Let's pull over to the side of the road and check it out. I do like the car models. They're actually pretty cool looking. Highway Patrol, state of Kaminora, baby. You better believe it. Oh, that looks awesome. Looks really cool. Uh, you can open a radio menu. Yeah, we know. Um, so radio, we haven't done anything with a radio yet. Uh, that's just to abort and road reset. So emergency, we have the different siren tones uh, and different light settings. We know that. So let's go three, three. Oh yeah, it has your uh, nice priority siren. That's the Yelp. So it has like a, um, okay, are they gonna pull over out of the way whenever you have a responding unit? They don't seem to care. Nope, they don't care at all. Definitely a federal signal siren for sure. Let's pull in here and have a look at this house. We have arrived at our location. At our location. There we go. Um, lights, you have hazard, headlights, turn right, turn left. That's cool. I like that. Headlights. All right, let's get out of the vehicle. Uh, get out of the vehicle. There we go. You can open the radio menu and call dispatch if you want to be brought back on track. Well, we don't. We're just uh, investigating. Oh, we have a vending machine here. How's it going? How you doing today, sir? That shirt is amazing. C colon slash uh, directory. That is pretty cool. Retro. Super retro, bro. All right, let's try driving in the first person view. You can see the uh, quality has been downgraded a little bit here, and that's what I was talking about earlier in the patch notes. We get around this uh, accident scene here. Don't mind us at all. Yep. Oh, and okay. So we can't go out of there. Mission have failed if you go through there. Good to know. Yeah, I don't understand the reasoning behind the dead zone and the driving. It's it's going to be quite difficult to get used to. My God, we're going fast. 112, baby. 120. Oh, she can take it. She can take it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're good. I'm starting to get used to it, though. That's for certain. But there's one more thing we have to do to test this demo out. All right, in full. We have made it back to the scene. Oh my God, there's more stuff in the road this time. What the heck? All right, you know we have to do it. We have to pull that pistol out, baby. You can open the radio menu and to call dispatch. I don't want to do that. I want my pistol. I want my pistol, please. Okay, so they are not going to let us use our gun at all. We have a camera and that's pretty much it. Oh, look, it's a different uh, set of vehicles this time. Oh, that's cool. And different peds. Oh, that's kind of cool. Awesome. We have music playing too. Okay. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Highway Police Simulator, the demo. Uh, this is coming out very soon. So uh, whenever the full game comes out, we'll definitely check it out and give it a whirl. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.